Howdy Fort Worth, my name is William Rimley, I'm the Fort Worth Municipal Court Director and today we're going to spend a few minutes to learn about the Clerk of the Court Division and in particular as well the Clerk of the Court um, Juan Paredes. So uh, just want to start off first Juan, will you introduce yourself? Uh, hello, my name is Juan Paredes, I'm the Clerk of the Court. I've been with the City of Fort Worth for 15 years now and serving as Clerk of the Court for almost two years. Excellent. So uh, let's start off first of all with um, what is the Clerk of Court Division and what function does that uh, take related to municipal court? So the Clerk of the Court is really the administrative arm of the judiciary here in the City of Fort Worth Municipal Court. Um, and that covers a wide range of responsibilities. So that includes accepting case filings from our issuing departments like police, fire, code, um, that includes uh, receiving payments for anybody that is assessed fines and fees as part of a judgment. Um, we schedule cases. We take questions from the public and respond to those. We do a lot of follow-up based on courtroom activity. Uh, we summon jurors to come and take part of that very important civil service. Um, a lot of the case management that goes on behind the scenes, usually you don't see that in the courtroom. Um, that's what our clerks do. Excellent. Well, thank you for that information. So, um, what, what does it uh, take to be a municipal court clerk? So, to be a municipal court clerk, I mean, uh, we're under a really cool program right now, which is the automatic reclass program. And there's three levels to our municipal court clerk um, job designation. And at the level one, you really don't have to have a whole lot of experience. Um, we provide all of that in-house. So, uh, if you have some level of customer service is always helpful. You know, you don't have to have a uh, high school uh, diploma or GED, and that's really all it takes, right? And, and there are structured trainings that we provide. There are promotional opportunities. Um, once you become a certified court clerk, that's something that we provide all our uh, clerks, and that's a program that was established through the Texas Municipal Court Education Center uh, and uh, Texas State University. So it's very um, structured program. It's uh, highly professional. You know, it's uh, what we do is very important and it can impact people's lives. So we want to make sure that the, stra the staff that is brought on board is properly trained and really understands what it is that they're doing. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for that information. Um, so what are maybe some unique things that the municipal court clerks do uh, that maybe everybody would not be aware of? Okay. Um, well, municipal court clerks, like I mentioned before, they provide a wide range of services. Uh, we have clerks that serve, you know, as our call center. Um, they take general public calls. They also uh, web chat with you if you have any questions and you're on a mobile device and need some quick information, you can, you know, connect with them there. Uh, we're in the public often, so there's community engagement events that we do. You know, we'll go out and speak. Um, in schools just to let people know what clerks do. Not everybody's very familiar with, with that profession, right? It's kind of a, a hidden gem. If you don't know about it, um, you know, it's not pu publicly um, talked about often. You know, you, you hear about attorneys and prosecutors and what they do in the courtroom, but the clerk position uh, really helps all of those functions take place during, during the court um, proceeding. So, um, you know, we also provide interpreting services. We'll go into the courtroom, you know, on, on very specific occasions to help, you know, our non-English speaking uh, defendants in the courtrooms. Um, we'll, you know, give you information if you have questions. Obviously, we can't provide legal advice. We're not uh, certified attorneys or licensed attorneys, so we can't do that. But we try to provide the public with as much information in order for them to make an, uh, an informed decision and obviously our judges and prosecutors are available um, or somebody can hire a licensed attorney if they have any questions as well. Thank you for that information. I, I think that's helpful for the uh, community to understand kind of what's happening and um, you know I, I know that part of the court clerk's function is to help guide folks in understanding the process. Again not giving legal advice but information um, and so as well as supporting the judiciary and um, the other services within within the department. So let's turn for a moment and just talk about you uh, for a moment related to the as the clerk of the court. What is your function and responsibilities and maybe go into a little bit of just day to day. What's it like to be the clerk of court? Okay. Um, so some of my major responsibilities overarching general 
are one of the things I mentioned is making sure that we have the uh, proper staff and train, right? So whenever um, somebody is requesting services, you want to have somebody that is knowledgeable and able to guide you on the other end. So that, that's a major component of it. Um, the other thing is making sure, since we're the administrative side of the judiciary, that we're following all of the you know, state, local mandates, legislation that is out there. Um, there are reporting requirements that we have to um, um, abide by uh, for the Office of Court Administration, and I'm responsible for making sure that that's done on a regular basis. Um, really service analysis, right? How well are we providing service to the public, um, not just to the general public, but also to all of the players in, in the judiciary, which includes our judges, our prosecutors, um, officers that are issuing citations, you know. Uh, we want to make sure that that process is as smooth as possible, and that takes a lot of collaboration. Um, we have several different divisions here in the municipal court, and I make sure that we're working well together. Everybody has different needs. Same thing, you know, as our clerks do. We want to make sure that, um, and my responsibility is that that communication is open and there's dialogue and that we're removing barriers. I'm removing barriers for um, anything that may come up. Um, and, you know, a lot of that includes future planning. You know, something that we do as a fine-only misdemeanor court um, is making sure that the public has a forum for justice and access to justice. Um, being a fine-only court, uh, a punishment is the fine, right? Somebody has to pay if, if they're not ordered to do anything else. And um, we are responsible for projecting, you know, uh, what those collections could be. and, and um, our city really plans on how that can be best used, but you know we provide that information working with um, our budget office, uh, treasury, and uh, you know our legal department just to kind of project how uh, criminal justice and, and, and public safety is really um, uh, going for the city. Right, we're we're a, a branch of that. You know, we, we don't do the enforcement like our police officers do, but. Um, we do play a role. So um, I know that there's hundreds of municipal courts across the state, um, and I believe you are a member of uh, one of the associations. So what is your current role, and how does that help support what you do uh, in your role as clerk of court and, and this court? Right. Uh, so I'm currently serving as the North Texas Chapter um, Texas Court Clerk Association President. And um, what really the association does is provide a lot of education to our members and bring awareness to the profession, uh, try to promote you know, what it is that the clerk does. Um, it's very specialized, like I mentioned before, there, there is a certification process, right? It's not, not just anybody can go in and do it. There is some education that has to be there in order to provide the service and, and know what you're doing and do it well. Um, so the association is a major component of that. You know, it's a professional organization um, ensuring that as the role evolves that we're staying uh, current and knowledgeable and uh, able to perform those duties. Um, you know, throughout history, the judiciary has changed and the clerk uh, profession has changed as well. And we're trying to make sure that we're keeping up with those changes. Um, the association meets regularly. You know, we, we are keeping uh, informed on changes with the legislation and how that would impact not just the clerks, but the judiciary. Um, and, you know, referencing one of the questions you had earlier um, about my responsibility, if there are any legislative changes, I need to make sure that we're prepared to um, uh, follow those regulations and reporting if there's anything that's tied to it and, and make any analysis related to how that's going to impact um, not just our court but um, the city in general. So kind of, uh, I guess in closing, um, going kind of back to uh, employees and stuff, um, uh, I know right now we have an active recruitment. so. What would you say to somebody if uh, about hey if they'd be interested in this how do they how do they go about applying to become a clerk a court clerk? We are currently looking for you know talent and if you're interested in um, finding out what the municipal court does, um, you can go to the city of Fort Worth uh, recruitment page and, and submit your application. Like I mentioned, um, at our level one clerk, you don't have to have a whole lot of background in municipal court. Um, or criminal justice. You know, we provide a lot of that training. So if you have any interest in it, um, I encourage you to apply and, and, and possibly interview with us. We'll let you know what, you know, the position is about and the expectations. Um, and if you find that this is something for you, uh, you know, there's growth opportunity within the municipal court clerk job description. Um, those job descriptions are also available through our uh, 
Human Resources City page portal. So it'll give you a brief description, uh, you know, some of the responsibilities you would be responsible for carrying out um, and going back to what I covered initially about, you know, things that we do to help support the judiciary. Uh, we have a lot of people from a wide background, right? Some some people had criminal justice, going to school for criminal justice. Others, um, you know, were working in customer service in a completely unrelated field, and they've come to municipal court and and had loved it, and you know, have been here for a very long time. Well, Juan, thank you for spending a few minutes to help kind of describe what you do on a daily basis, your role in and uh, the clerk of the court division uh, staff, and um, we appreciate your time today. All right, thank you.